In December 2012, a series of private companies, investors and VIPs visited Uganda with access to innovation in order to establish partnerships between local stakeholders, NGOs, researchers and private businesses. The visit was a result of a long and thorough process of market and demand research and numerous conferences and workshops, all aimed at setting up sustainable models for making innovative technology available where it's needed the most. Companies visited the dairy cooperative UCCCU in Emperara, waste connection and potential energy solutions in Kasese, and met with local authorities, private organizations and even royalty to lay out the best possible foundation for the future partnerships. In Mbarara, representatives from the dairy company Isfriscan met with UCCCU to investigate further business potentials that would help the UCCCU to fulfill the ambition of selling quality milk products on the Ugandan market. I think um, they will get a good picture of what we are and uh, what we intend to do and the whole picture of our mission and our vision and our objectives. So I think it's good at uh, this time that they have come to interact with us and uh, see the way forward. Isroscan produces mini dairies that cover everything from milking to milk handling, cooling and packaging. In short, all the challenges that the UCCCU are facing at the moment. I would say that we, uh, I knock the door and the door is open a little bit and we're talking through the... Further west, in the Kasese district on the Congolese border, a number of different companies, as well as Danish authorities, met with Ugandan counterparts in the WWF Green Energy Champion District project. Uh, good morning, everybody. Fine, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Fine, how are you? Good. Uh, my name is Jakob Braun, and I'm coming the long way from Denmark together with a big group from the Access to Innovation Group. Here, the delegation visited villages in the Ravensori Mountains and saw examples of present diesel-driven energy solutions as well as the first small steps taken towards using solar power as a source of energy in remote areas. We are thinking there are few systems uh, in different implementation stages are like in bits and pieces. I can see in the market there are solar panels, there are also batteries. We are not going to do something, something which is out of the moon, but what we think we should do is to create a black box solution which can prevent the people to tamper with it, which can give a longer life and how we are going to integrate. This is where uh, as a system technique we have a capability to do that. We are already operating in Africa since we are supplying life-saving and life-improving products. Um, but here is there's a huge potential. If we can bring this family to, to move away from, from um, from from car from uh, using wood and charcoal in their in kitchens, uh, and uh, moving away from uh, kerosene lamps, we can improve their their daily life. In Kasese, Danish authorities also had a chance to meet with representatives from the Brabantsururu Kingdom, who will be joining the WWF project in a grand effort to clean up the district and convert to sustainable energy solutions based on more effective waste management and treatment. His Majesty has re requested all his subjects to support tree planting, to support the use of the renewable energy so that we cut on the impact on the climate in order to save our kingdom. Now that His Majesty the Umusinga, Iremango Macharis Wizile Mumbere, has already given out this instruction to all the subjects, I feel it is an entry point and that all of us, as his subjects, we really obey and we shall go to that. In the Ugandan capital Kampala, the Danish company Enviklin spent time with Red Cross in the city's slum areas. 
The goal was to gather knowledge about the sanitary needs of the slum inhabitants. By flushing, then they go out and knowledge that is critical in order to develop a one-stop shop solution for sanitary services in the slum. Access to innovations is quite important in this overall picture because that's the company or the organization who makes sure that I'm hooked up to different partners which is needed in this uh, change of value. Red Cross, um, the local authorities, uh, local uh, politicians and uh, university professors and researchers. So we can team up and make sure that we have a state-of-the-art business model uh, taking all uh, facts into consideration. Are you fine? The trip constituted the natural step forward for companies in the Access to Innovation Network that wishes to do good business in Africa. Well, we've only been here for five days, but it feels like 14. And really, we all the impressions, uh, all the good talks we had throughout our, uh, our stay. Uh, I think we've been bombarded, you could say, with new impressions. And really now we have to go back and sum it up. The individual business projects will be setting up in 2013.